right, so today is Tuesday, uh, October 11th, and, um, you know, we just wanted to give you guys kind of an update on what's going on here in Venice, Florida. Um, you know, our kids just started back to school yesterday, uh, Monday. Yes, that was a good day. <laughs> yes, that was a good day. So the schools had really minimal damage. I know the gymnasium at the middle school has got some damage, so that's not being used right now, but they were... Both of our kids' schools, Taylor Ranch and Venice Middle School, were really lucky, fortunate that they didn't have that much damage. So the kids are back at school. We're super thankful about that. Venice High School was being used as a shelter, and I believe they moved those people over to the um, hospital that just closed. And I know that that shelter is actually full right now. I think there's a lot of people from further south that uh, came up this way. So we're driving around uh, Stony Brook at Venice right now, and we just wanted to show you, um, you know, kind of what it looks like after the storm comes through. You know, everybody's been cutting up all the debris and the trees. So as you drive up and down the streets, there's just a lot of, you know, yard waste or whatever debris stacked up on the side of the road. We're waiting for people to come pick it up for the county. And I've heard that that's already been started. Yeah, and just to be clear, so like this debris has been sitting here for over a week now. Um, so it's just, it's phenomenal how fast all of, you know, the community, you know, got out there and cleaned up their own yards, put everything on the curb yeah. uh, with the help of obviously a tremendous amount of people coming down to the Venice area and then south of Venice to get this place cleaned up. But back to Venice, very impressive on how fast things have been cleaned up down here. And yeah. you're gonna see that today. Yeah, just the, the stories that we keep hearing of, you know, the linemen helping people and then just neighbors helping neighbors has just been tremendous. And I am just absolutely blown away by how quickly things have gotten cleaned up here. So, um, you know, there's still linemen here working um, and we see them every day coming in and out. They're staying at the uh, Cool Today Park and they're also staying over by the um, Venice Airport over there. As of right now, we've had power. We only were out of power for four days, but some people, I believe in like South Venice and on the island are still, you know, just now getting power back. But um, I think we saw somewhere that we're 98% of Sarasota County that was is four, back up four and days, running. Four days ago, Sarasota County was at 98%. Yeah. So and that's, four days ago, the Fort Myers area um, was at 40%. Yeah. So we're just going to drive around today and show you what it looks like after the storm. All right, so we're driving on River Road. We just turned off of center onto River towards Bellum Park. And parts of this road were actually closed for a while because the Mayaka River actually overflowed onto the road. And I know clients are gonna ask us what parts of Venice flooded or who had a really hard time so they know where to buy a house. So, you know, I guess it is important to kind of just mention these things happen. Yeah, so this North River Road is right up against the Mayaka River. Exit 191 coming off of 75, the main, main road into Welland Park. So they've been expanding this road for some time. And when this road is completed, this road will be a lot higher. So the next time we have a storm like this, I'm highly confident that this road will not be flooded. Yeah. Um, we could tell as they're you know, doing, you know, redoing the road now, they were bringing it up like at least four feet. So I would only imagine now, maybe go back to engineering and bring this thing up a couple more feet so they don't have to worry about it. So we're turning into Renaissance right now and uh, we didn't get a chance to come over here after the storm to see if they had any damage, but I can see that they're uh, back to work on some of these houses, so that's always a positive sign. <laughs> so these are several of the houses we saw under construction before the storm. Yeah. And obviously they weathered the storm. You can see the roofers are up here now back to work. Um, actually last week, 
all, all these trades were back out here building these houses. They didn't miss a beat. All right, so Renaissance looks good, you guys. So this community right here, we don't know what the name of it's going to be, but it is in Welland Park. As you can see, they are installing the infrastructure for that community before the hurricane. That was just a piece of dirt that had just been cleared. So that gives you an idea how quickly they've just mobilized and they've got all their equipment and they're putting infrastructure in the ground. So we came into, obviously we're driving around Welland Park, we're in Avelina, everything looks beautiful here, there's people working, it's like business as usual, which is so good to see. So we're driving around South Venice a little bit, um, just to kind of show you some of the damage you know Richard and I were just talking and it's like we're showing you know the cleanup and the damage a lot of people have been asking us because they want to know where the worst areas were that were hit to kind of avoid them when they're buying a home but um, I mean Venice is doing really good you guys like the cleanup's been amazing yeah I mean there's, you know, there's debris, there's trees, a lot of trees down, you know, and it's, it's actually, sorry, I don't mean to cut you off, but it's actually sad to me because I love all the beautiful palm trees here and just all of the greenery and stuff, but I know that it's going to get replaced and it's going to be even better than it was before. Yeah, it's not all sunshine and buttercups out here. I mean, obviously a lot of these houses have had some roof damage, Yeah. whether they were shingle roofs or tile roofs. Uh, we've seen a lot of screens, um, like screened in porches or pool screened in um, areas. You know, <clears throat> the screens have come down, screens have blown out. Yeah. You know, we'll show you some. I mean, it's just normal stuff with, with storms anywhere in Florida. Some people that are closer to the water did have some flooding in their houses. And, um, you know, there was a gentleman that was kind of upset and he was just letting everybody know that, you know, maybe it is a good idea if you're going to live in Venice or live somewhere that's not too far from the water to go ahead and have flood insurance um, when you buy your house, even if you're not in a flood zone, because something like this could happen and that flood insurance will protect you. Um, and your homeowner's insurance will cover the damage because uh, he was having to cover the damage because he didn't have flood insurance. So something to think about when you're thinking about buying a home here, and I'm gonna definitely let all of our clients know um, that it may be a good idea to go ahead and get flood insurance. All right, so we are turning into one of my, personally, my favorite neighborhoods, that's Boca Royale in Inglewood. Inglewood is south of Venice, so they got hit a little bit harder than we did. Um, and just driving in, you know, we see, we're seeing more damage was definitely done here. So hopefully our favorite neighborhood has done well. I love um, the mature oak trees here and the way they've grown over. It's such a beautiful setting when you drive through the neighborhood. And, you know, this community isn't brand new. It started um, a few years back. They still have lots available. They're still building. There's um, still plenty of opportunities here as well. So there's some houses that have been here for a little while and then some newer ones coming in. We're just going to drive around and, and kind of check it out. This is a golf community that's being built by Neal Communities. Hopefully they didn't get too much damage. over on the golf course obviously some some big oaks came down but this is the first time we've been in this neighborhood since the hurricane and as a crows flies as they say we're like not even two miles from the beach you know there's there's definitely some trees down and everything but there's a lot of trees still standing and doing good 
Um, I just love the, the scenery here in this community. It's just beautiful. Love the lot sizes and just love the style of homes. right by Minnesota Beach and we're just driving around and we just saw some linemen working on the power line so I believe these people still don't have power. You can see where we're driving around now there's just a lot of trees and debris. They were hit much harder than the storm than we were up in Venice because obviously this is further south and it's also so close to the water. It looks like the last bit of people that don't have power are probably over here. they may not have power I don't see anything really detrimental over here have you seen any I haven't even seen any tarps or anything yeah we've been driving around here for about 15 minutes now just to kind of see how things are right here against the coast I mean we're we're not even a quarter mile west of the water right now the intercoastal and uh, there's just not a ton of damage here driving on Minnesota Key and we're looking at the minimal amounts of damage. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of trees down. Yeah, I mean, there's the intercoastal right here. You can see it. Intercoastal is on this side and then on this side behind me, you've got the ocean. Yeah, so we're heading south and all I'm seeing here is a lot of debris, not a lot of house damage, which is amazing. Um, I've, I'm counting new telephone poles, I'm sorry, power poles. Um, you know, it looks like most of the power distribution that was in the air here went down and they all have new poles and power. But these houses, especially the houses with the metal roofs and the tile roofs, they're holding up really well. Most of the damage has been any kind of shingle roof, but you're not gonna find that here. If your house is properly built next to the water, um, it's not going to come down in a hurricane. Yeah, so one of our goals uh, since we moved here was going to be, we were either going to build a house in Welland Park, or then we started thinking really we want to build a house on the island or tear one down and build it up. So um, I was just saying to Richard that this kind of proves his point. If a house is built properly, even though it's by the water, it can withstand the hurricane force winds. So I'm really feeling a lot better about building on the island close to the water, seeing, you know, these houses that are okay. There's a community here that is just about a quarter mile to half a mile east of the water and these houses are built with shingle roofs and as you can see there's tarps all over them so shingle roofs next to the water doesn't work out too well you definitely want that tile or you definitely want um, that metal roof this is the most tarps we've seen like almost the whole entire neighborhood has a tarp on their house. I'm opting for a metal roof, but obviously the tile ones too, and the cement roofs, those are good.
hopefully you just saw that, but you know, one of the really sad things is that the Venice Theater um, pretty much got stripped away. Here we go. That building was actually built in 1920, I heard. So it didn't really withstand the wind and the rain and everything. Everybody here, I think, has fond memories of Venice Theater and likes going there. My, our daughter was signed up for classes there this um, fall. So hopefully they get to, they can rebuild that soon. That's probably the worst damage that Venice got is right there, that theater. But it looks like there's already a lot of people here cleaning it up. Who knows how long before we have a new theater here. Here's the positive thing. It's going to be a new theater. Yeah. So it'll be great. The positive side is that the thing, the buildings that did have the damage, you know, they'll get built, um, they'll get fixed, they'll get refurbished, and it'll look nice and new and, and cleaned up down here. So other than that, though, downtown looks pretty good. It really did well um, with such a big storm. I mean, it looks better already for me. Made repairs, painting. When they're done with this, it's gonna look nice and fresh and new. And Friday night, car news was open and they had live music um, going on. I don't know what time they closed, but uh, yeah. They're was... definitely open later than nine because we went by <laughs> after nine. Um, I heard it, they stay up until like 11, so. If you're looking for the nightlife here in Venice, there it is. <laughs> We're actually getting some rain today, and it's uh, the first time that it's rained since the storm. Unfortunately, we're gonna be getting rain from now until, I think, this weekend. It is we just drove through you know downtown Venice and honestly um, the damage here could have been way worse it's it's uh, it's getting cleaned up so fast we're so impressed by what everyone's done around here and uh, the way that the linemen have helped everybody we're just so impressed and thankful for them you know we, we truly love living here and uh, just going through the storm really showed us uh, what a sense of community there is here neighbors helping neighbors so many stories about people feeding the linemen that gave them power and wanting to thank them and stuff like there's there's just some really awesome people that live here and we're gonna have our community up and running and clean and back to normal in no time there's really not that much damage even at this point so all right guys well next week we will be back doing our regular Yay! style vlog showing you some new communities new construction um, and what's going on here so make sure you hit that subscribe button and um, if you're ever thinking about moving to the Venice, Florida area, make sure you give us a call because we definitely have you covered. All right, we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.